Hi, I'm Craig Johnson, president of the First Amendment, Inc. And our message is freedom is a use it or lose it proposition. This country is full of very, very powerful people who want to fundamentally transform the United States of America. These same people actually hate the Bill of Rights. That same Bill of Rights that tells government that they cannot, shall not, and must not do harmful things to Americans. The schools don't teach this because they'd rather teach PC, political cowardice, which only stifles the free expression of ideas. And these six precious freedoms in the First Amendment to the United States Constitution are what we fight for, they are what we believe in, they are what we teach. Our founders stated and declared that our form of government is only suited to a religious and moral people. And so the first two clauses to the First Amendment are the religious clauses, the freedom from having a religion forced upon you that you did not choose, but more importantly, the freedom to freely exercise the religion of your choice. The next two clauses are how we speak truth to power. The freedom of speech applies to everyone. And the freedom of the press, as we just see two members of our press in Syria were beheaded. So perhaps we should not take our press freedoms so carelessly and take them for granted here in America. And perhaps members of the press should treat these rights as holy and not use these things as partisan wedges to bludgeon their political opposition, but rather use them to keep both political parties honest, speak truth to power, no matter who holds power. That's how you have a strong America. The fifth clause is really one of the most important bedrock clauses uh, of the six in the First Amendment, and that's the right of assembly, or as also called the right of association. So a group of doctors, a group of attorneys, a group of accountants, these people would be free to associate with one another to form a business. And then you, the citizen, you would be free to associate with them as a customer, as a patient, as a client. Now, as we see with the recently passed uh, and misnamed Affordable Health Care Law, uh, even the nickname Obamacare is, 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 is really a misnomer. I tend to call it Obama scam. This is a scam that's been perpetuated on the American people, a way to have government take control of not only one sixth of the American economy, but more importantly, the government will eventually, if this is not stopped, have control over life and death of the, over the American citizens. And so we see in the First Amendment to the United States Constitution, this freedom, not that the founders gave you, this freedom that God gave you. And as the founders declared, government is here to protect your rights, not to grant you rights, not to abridge your rights, not to deny you rights. So this very, very important right in the First Amendment, the right of assembly, the right of association, we see in the Obama scam healthcare law that this is totally turned upside down. You are no longer free to choose which doctor that you will associate with. Certain doctors are no longer free to assemble to form the medical practice of their choice. We see a florist no longer free to choose to participate in a homosexual marriage. They're being forced either to do that or pay a huge fine, which would spell bankruptcy for most small businesses. And so this very, very important freedom, which gives you the freedom to do so many things, to frequent businesses, to be a member of a tea party, to be a member of the Kiwanis Club, to be a Rotarian, to uh, start a book club. These are people freely associating with one another. Very, very important bedrock principle in the First Amendment. And of course, the final of these six is the right to seek redress from your government for a perceived wrong. Or you could even seek to influence law before it becomes law and get out in front of that wrong. 
Now, many of you are not going to like this, but what that means, Americans, is that means lobbying is constitutionally protected activity. Because if you don't have the time or the resources to personally go and seek redress from your government, the person you would hire to do that in your stead, that person we call a lobbyist. So how can you get so angry at lobbyists that you would deny lobbying activity to the person that you politically oppose and at the same time keep lobbying for the Boy Scouts, for the Girl Scouts, who are also under attack from the left? And so our message is simple, folks. As I stated starting out, freedom is a use it or lose it proposition. And what we at the First Amendment Inc. do, we go out and we teach these principles to people. Invite me out, I will come out to speak to your group. We will put on a workshop. And of course, you know, we have the really real deal on 990 AM WLEE here in Virginia, as well as our radio program at blogtalk.com. So we have these things that we're doing. We need your support. And as always happens, it seems that it always falls to members of the Christian Conservative Constitutional Coalition to do the heavy lifting. And that means you. You and people like you were there in every war that America fought. You were there fighting the culture war. You were there making sure that women and blacks got the right to vote. You were there marching with Dr. King to make sure that America was a place of equal rights, not special rights. And so we call on you again. Please support us here at the First Amendment, Inc. This is a very, very special mission that we call upon you to do because our business should be about preserving for our children and grandchildren the American dream. Thank you.